Hey guys, it's David. Welcome back to another video. Up to this point, you've only seen me flying in my videos, but my friend and flight instructor, Brandon, is a commercial pilot and a CFII, and I knew that including him in some of the content would bring value to this channel. So sit back and enjoy as Brandon shows you what it's like to do a ferry flight down the East Coast. Okay, here we are, Skymaster. This is the uh, Skymaster I'll be taking today. Just did a pre-flight on it. And we'll be heading out soon. He said the weather's cleared up some, as you can see. It's beautiful. And I put these flaps down and just to check, do my, ran through my pre-flight checklist, added a quart of oil and Filled up the fuel tanks. And these actually do have extended fuel tanks, 140, 40 gallons usable. So that should be plenty. We'll still stop off in Cape Fear just to uh, just take a little bit of a break. Here's the inside of the cockpit. We'll get more of that later. But just wanted to show you guys the outside of this airplane and say that we're ready to about ready to take off. It looks like looks like uh, blue skies ahead of us. Love the traffic, Skymaster 1375 Lima, departing runway 24. On the traffic, 738 X-ray Alpha, turning crosswind for 24 Plymouth. On the traffic, Cessna 144 Bravo Foxtrot is turning base for runway 24. Got the departing traffic inside Plymouth. Traffic, uh, Skymaster 1375 Lima is three miles to the southwest, to exit the area to the southwest, 1,600. Hey guys, David here. If you like this video so far, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more aviation content. Center 75 Lima has a uh, challenger in sight. Go back. Center 75 Lima, Roger. Contact Washington Center 132.55. 13255, 75 Lima. And center, this is Twin Cessna 1375 Lima, 10,500. Altimeter 3019. 3019, 75 Lima. 3019, Lima. Checking in again. Package 61, I have your request. Endeavor 4971. We are. 1330. Just about at Elizabeth City. Endeavor 1206 Tango, Washington Center, Washington, Mexico, 12 o'clock and 4 miles. And we have an overcast layer here. It looks about it. Nine, eight, uh, Eight, eight or nine thousand feet, so I'm descending from eight five down to six five. Eight, eight or nine thousand feet, so I'm descending from eight five down to six five. 
from the flight plan and we can see that the winds were getting pretty heavy. So I'm hoping maybe at 6.5 I can get a little bit more of a favorable wind or a lighter wind. Mostly coming crosswind, so it's not a huge factor, but definitely we're uh, indicating our ground speed's a little bit slower than our true airspeed. So I'm just going to do a shallow descent down to 6,500 and be on our way. We're about, about an hour uh, from Cape Fear. We'll be coming across uh, in a Beaufort in the uh, Jacksonville area, Newburn area here just shortly. I was hoping you could see the, the smoke on the ground there. You can see that uh, the smoke from that fire over there. You can, it tells you a little bit about what the winds are doing up here. But we clearly have pretty strong winds from the uh, from our west, just like we thought, and a little bit of a headwind. Not much, luckily, but just a little bit. I'm indicating about true airspeed of 155, whereas my ground speed is about 146 or so. So not bad, but definitely have a little bit of a Definitely have a little bit of a headwind. Wilmington approach, uh, twin Cessna 1375 Lima, level 6500. Twin Cessna 1375 Lima, Wilmington approach, Wilmington altimeter 3023. 3023, Lima. Traffic Skymaster 1375 Lima 5 miles north inbound 45 entry to downwind runway 5 Cape here currently, currently 2,000 feet Skymaster 75 Lima, downwind 5. Keep your traffic, Skymaster 75 Lima, base leg 5. Skymaster, KP Unicom, you boys are the whale guys? I just transport, but with the same company. I'll be over on the west ramp here in a second. I copy that, sir. You gonna need a little bit of gas? Yeah, let's fill her up. All right, why don't you pull her up in front of the terminal here? Sounds good. Gus came all the way from uh, Plymouth, Massachusetts. You did? Just now. Get out of here. Yeah, I've been in this thing forever. <laughs> How long did that take? It actually wasn't Three that bad. Hours? It was about four, a little over four. four? This thing's slow. Really? 150 knots. 
I've always said these are the loudest, slowest planes Dude, I think I've ever I thought before. something was wrong when I first took off. I was like, because it was like, go, 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 go. And I, was, I thought something was wrong. It was just freaking loud. It's just loud, <laughs> yeah. man. I was, because I haven't flown it in a while, and I was stressed, like, this thing, something's wrong with this. <laughs> yeah, it was, everything was fine. <laughs> Beautiful day. Go back down to St. Simons here in just a couple minutes after, uh, after fuel break. Clip rock. engine up first. Looking for fuel flow. Cape Fear traffic, Hitler copter, Niner Lima Romeo crossing the north field. Cape Fear. Master 1375 Lima, 4500. Master 1375 Lima, Mark Beach Approach. Hello, Colonel Altimeter 3025. How can I help you? 3025, about 20 uh, to 25 miles to the north over the ocean. Uh, one flight following to SSI.
Skymaster 75 Lima, Squawk 4277. 4277 for Skymaster 75 Lima. Master 75 Lima, radar contact, uh, see here about six miles to the southeast of Ocean Isle Airport, altitude indicates 4,700, maintain VFR. Roger, maintain VFR, Skymaster 75 Lima. Charleston approach, Skymaster 135, Lima, 4,500. Zero two five, Skymaster seven five Lima. The sun uh, setting here, right over, right past Charleston, or right near Charleston, and it's just, it's really beautiful. Um, water's really calm. The Skymaster's chugging away, doing about 140 knots, 11 gallons an hour each. A little bit of a headwind, but not nothing too crazy. About an hour out from St. Simons, and it's a really nice long day of flying, but good, good day. Yeah, beautiful. And the water is super calm over the ocean. This is 436, contact tower 12610. 12610, I'll check back in in a little bit. We'll probably have a night landing. Skymaster 75 Lima, three mile final for runway 22, St. Simon's. 